Hi everyone, this is Taylor from the Maple Ridge Leisure Centre. While we're all practicing our social distancing, it's important for us to stay healthy. We're definitely missing the in-person interactions and we look forward to welcoming you back at the Leisure Centre when it's safe to do so. Uh, please remember that we're all in this together and we hope you enjoy this workout. Welcome and feel free to grab water at any time. Take any of the modifications I offer. Take a break any time that you need it. So let's get started. We're gonna take it to just the end of our mat here, standing up nice and tall. Imagine that you have a string lifting you up from your head, making you even taller. We're gonna take a big deep breath in up and just exhale and push those walls apart. Good, let's do that again. Inhale up, stretch the arms and exhale down. Let's do that one more time here, right up and exhale down and then just roll those shoulders back. Two more, last one and then we're going to switch directions. So roll it forwards now, that's it. Two more. And last one here, excellent job. Now, we're just gonna take our head to one side, reach your arm in the opposite direction here. I'll turn and face so I can see you. And then if you like, just add a very gentle pull with your hand. That of course is optional. And then let's just roll our head around the other way, reaching that arm in the opposite direction with or without that gentle pull. And keep in mind, you can hold any of these stretches longer at any time. Just pause that video if you feel like you need a little extra with one stretch or another and bring your head back up. Now we're gonna take both of our hands, interlocking our fingers. Bring the hands behind the back of the head and just gently pull down, looking at the floor. And then bring it back up. Now we're just going to loosen our hips up a bit. A couple hip circles here. Let's turn those hips around. Two more here. And then your last one. And let's go the other way now. Two more. And your last time. And then push those hips forward and look up at the ceiling. And then bring it all the way up and let your body hang limp, kind of like a rag doll here sitting on a shelf. And let's do that one more time. Take the hands to the back, push forwards, looking up. And then bring it up and just let your body hang. And back up. Now again, we're gonna go back to one end of our mat. We're gonna take a nice big step forwards here. You want lots of distance between both of the legs. We're gonna reach the arms towards the ceiling and just bend your knee down towards the mat. Make sure that that knee is right over top of the ankle. You want to feel that stretch through the hip, going through the leg. And then we're going to take the hand that is opposite to our front knee. Take that hand, place it on the mat, and pull your other arm back. So now you should be feeling that stretch through the side of the leg there. You'll also feel it through the chest and up through the arm. Now take that hand down to the floor, bring your knee to the mat. We're gonna take our hands now to our hips and just pull your chest back, looking up at the ceiling. And 
and then bring your chest back up. Take both hands, place them down on the mat on either side of your foot. And we're gonna take that back leg and just lift it up as straight as you can. Don't worry if you need to bend those knees, that is totally fine. You'll see me bending my knee on my other leg because I am less flexible on the left side and that is okay. All right, so now we're gonna switch legs. So bring yourself all the way back up. You can give those legs a little shake. And we're gonna take the other side back now. Once again, we've got lots of distance between both of our legs. That front knee, we want it right over top of the ankle. We're gonna bring the arms up, bend the knee down, and let's hold this here. And once again, you're gonna take that hand that is opposite to the front knee, place that down on the mat, and pull the other arm back. So again, getting that stretch through the side of that leg, all the way up through the chest and the arm. And then again, we're gonna take that hand down to the mat, bring your knee down, bring your hands up to your hips. And again, we're just gonna pull that chest back, looking up at the ceiling here. And then bring yourself up. Take both hands, place them down on the mat. And again, we're gonna lift that back leg up towards the ceiling, just straightening the knees as much as you can. And then take that foot and bring it down and we're gonna walk the feet back. We're gonna get down on the mat now. So straighten out that body and just bring the hips to the mat and look up at the ceiling. If this is too much of a stretch for you, you can always bring your forearms to the mat like so. Now we're gonna go from here into that downward dog position. So you're gonna curl your toes under and push your body back into that upside down V and just hold that there, straightening the arms and legs as much as you can. And try to push your heels down towards the mat. Now we're gonna go back down to the mat. We're gonna do this a little faster. We call this our sun salutation. Let's take it down and then back up and down and up. Four more, just like that. Last three. And then we've got two more here. And then our last one, and you're gonna hold it all the way up, and we're gonna walk the dog. So to walk the dog, we push one heel back and bend our other knee in, and then we switch. So keep that going. You wanna feel the calves stretching here. Let's do eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, push both heels back now. And then just bring your knees down and sit back into child's pose here. Let your head relax on the mat and walk those hands forwards.
and then just take the hands over to one side twisting around and hold that stretch there and then back through center let's go now to the other side And then back to center. Now we're going to dive through our arms here. So push your body through those hands. Lift and then round back into child's pose. We're going to do that three more times. Push through, squeezing the shoulders together. Up and then round out the back. Two more. And one more time. Push through, lift and sit right back. Now we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna round up and pull through the hands. So bring it over, bend the elbows, and pull through. Three more here. Last two. And one more time. Good, and just sit all the way back again. Now we're gonna walk our hands in a bit, bringing it onto all fours here. We're gonna take one arm, pull it back as far back as you can. And then we're gonna take that hand and thread the needle through the other arm, bring it right down and just hold that stretch. Now with the same arm, we're gonna pull it back again. This time, we're not gonna thread it through. We're gonna take the hand directly to the floor, bring your shoulder to your mat, and look through the other arm. And then let's just bring that hand back in. Now we'll go over to the other side. So let's pull the arm back. And then again, you're gonna thread the needle through, take it down and hold that stretch. And same arm is gonna go all the way back. And then this time, place that hand onto the floor, shoulder goes down, and look through the other arm. Good, and then take it back onto all four. So we're gonna bring it up onto our knees now. We're gonna take one hand, to the side and just reach over with your other arm. And now over to the other side. And then back up here. Now we're gonna take one hand and we're gonna bring it back. Now you've got three options. You can place your hand onto your hip you can place it onto your heel, or for even more challenge, you can bring your hand onto the floor. Now we're gonna bring the other arm back and twist over. And then just take that up, and we're gonna go to the other side now. So again, either your hip, your heel or all the way to the mat, reach back and hold that there.
Good, and then take that back up. Now, here comes the challenge. Both hands, again, hips. You can lean back, you can go to your heels, or you can go all the way to the mat. So just find the option that is best for you and let's hold this stretch right here. and then bring it up and again place those hands down in front and round out the shoulders and then just push your back down let's do that three more times round up push down last two and down here and then one more time hold it up and then push it back down. Now we're gonna bring ourselves all the way down to the mat onto our stomach here. I want you to reach your arms back and try to lift your legs up off the mat here. Just one second, just adjust that. And we're gonna take four big deep breaths. As we inhale, we're gonna bring ourselves up as high as we can. And then on the exhale, just let your body relax. Here we go, inhale up and slowly exhale, relax down. Let's do that three more times here. Inhale up and slowly relax down. Last two, inhale up, up and slowly down. And one more time, inhale up and then relax down. Good job. Just take a moment here, let your body just Sink into your mat. Take a few big deep breaths in and out. So we're gonna turn it onto our side here, just resting the head on the hand. We're gonna get our quad stretch in now. So grab your foot with your hand, pulling that leg back. Now you can stay either on your side if you'd like to increase the stretch a little more. Bring it up onto your elbow. You can even turn it slightly or even bring it onto your back. So just find the position where you're feeling that stretch through the quad and hold that there. Good, now we're gonna turn it back up. Release that leg. Now, you're just gonna face the other direction and we're gonna get the other side now. So grab your foot, again, pulling that leg back. You can turn it over if you like to make the stretch a little bit more intense. That is up to you and let's hold that there. All right, so we're gonna release that stretch and now all of us are gonna take it onto our back. So release that leg and just take it down onto the mat and reach those arms and legs out. And then you're gonna pull one knee in towards your chest and take that knee and just cross it down to the floor, reaching your arm in the opposite direction. Now the goal here is to keep both shoulders on the mat. Now, if you want to increase the stretch a little more, you can look in the opposite direction of the leg or the, the leg that is bent, the bent knee. And then just bring that leg back up and switch. Other knee comes in, extend that leg out, take your knee and cross it down to the floor.
Good. All right, let's bring that back up. Now we're gonna stretch our hamstrings. So take one leg up towards the ceiling, other leg down on the floor, and we're just gonna start off by circling our foot around. And then switch directions. And now point and flex your foot, trying to maintain as straight of a leg as possible and then hold it flexed. Now we're gonna bring the shoulders off the mat and walk your hands up a little higher on the leg and gently push your leg against your hands, tucking your chin into the chest and rounding out your shoulder blades. and then bring yourself down, releasing that side. Let's do the same now on the other leg. So bring the leg straight up, hands behind, and circle your foot around. And then switch directions here. And let's point and flex. Again, really try to straighten that leg and hold the foot flex now. And then once again, we're gonna walk the hands up that leg, tucking our chin into the chest, rounding out those shoulders and gently pushing the leg against those hands. Excellent work. All right, so we're gonna now release that leg. Take one foot, cross it over the other leg, grab behind and pull the legs in tight towards the body. And we're gonna increase the stretch here. Of course, this is only an option, but bring your shoulders up if you can and pull in even tighter here. And then we'll let that go and switch sides. So let's cross the other leg over, grab behind, Pull in towards your body and hold that there. And once again, you've got that option of bringing your shoulders up, pulling in just a little bit tighter here. And then we're gonna release. So let's sit up now here. Take one foot, cross it over the other leg, twist towards that bent knee and just look back. And then bring it back in and switch other side. And once again, we're gonna turn it back over onto the hands and the knees here. Let's sit back into that child's pose here. We're gonna bring our arms behind the back, reach the hands towards the ceiling. Now, keeping your chest on your knees, you're gonna to try to push your arms over to one side.
and then back to center. Let's go now the other way. And then back to center and release the hands, place the hands on the mat. Once again, rounding out that spine, we're going to curl our toes under here and walk your hands in towards the feet, straightening the knees as much as you can. And then walk the hands up the legs. Good job. So now we're going to separate our legs wide apart here. And we're gonna shift over onto one knee. Now you can either stay on the knee or if you want a little bit more of a stretch, place your hands on the mat. Good work. All right, so we gotta get to that other side. So walk it all the way through and over to the other side. And then back to center. Now just walk the hands forwards and push your body back. And then take it all the way up here. Walk those feet in together. We're going to just cross one leg over the other. Take the arm of your back leg and reach it over, stretching that side. And then just brush the ceiling and switch. So now the other leg goes in behind, reach over and hold that there. And then bring that back up. So now we're going to take one foot forwards, one just slightly back. We're going to bend our knees. The goal is you want to keep here, I'll turn so you can see. You want to keep your heels on the mat. You want to get a bit of a stretch through that calf. And then we're just going to take one arm and cross it over. So bending those knees, getting right down, holding those stretches. And then just take that up, step in together. Let's switch other side, cross over, bend those knees. Now we're gonna get our tricep, so bring it up nice and tall. Take one arm up to the ceiling, bend your elbow, press that arm back, and if you wanna increase the stretch a bit, pull the arm slightly in towards your head. Good, and then let's get that other side. Now reach up, bend, press back, and just pull in slightly there. And then release that. We're just gonna pull the arms back here, look up slightly, and then straighten the arms and pull back a little further. and take it in front, round out those shoulders. And then just let that go. So we're gonna finish off with a few big deep breaths in here. So what I want you to do is separate those feet about hip width apart. We're gonna take it down, inhale up, exhale, just push those walls apart with your fingertips. Let's do that three more times. Here we go. Inhale up. Exhale. Push down. Last two. Inhale up and down. And one more time here. Down and up. And give yourself that big hug. 
pat on the back. You did fantastic. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. You are very missed and I cannot wait until I get to see you soon, hopefully. Keep safe, keep healthy, and I hope to see you next time. Have a great day. Thank you for joining us today for our fitness class. Please be sure to share the video. And if you're looking for more information related to COVID-19, please check out the mapleridge.ca website. See you later.